Hello everybody and welcome to my new tutorial. In today's video I will show you how to easily make basketball composition. Today I will show you how to make easily modeling and texturing of basketball. I will show you how to make text animation with plane and delay MoGraph tool. Uh, we will do Voronoi fracture for our text and finally I will show you how to make easily animation with Expresso. So if you are ready, let's start. I am in Cinema 4D and first of all I will change render settings. Go in Keynesight and change to Redshift. Today I will work like usually with Redshift. So disable IPR, make it approximately 2 and 2 for fast calculation. Additionally I will go to Bucket Render and increase it up to 256 and make it spiral. Ok. So create basketball. Sphere. Standard sphere. I will make only 20 radius and I need too much segments, approximately 100 segments like this. Type will be Echosahedron, Icosahedron, maybe like this. Ok, very good. What we will do now? Uh, before continuous with uh, Redshift material, we have to go to our Adobe After Effect. If you like, you can use Photoshop but I prefer to use Adobe After Effects. So create new composition. Size of this composition will be 200 pixels for 200 pixels. Create. I will make only one frame. I don't need any more. Only one frame. This will be enough. Okay. For this composition I create two layers. One layer will be full white. Other layer will be black okay like this for black layer I will create some mask before I will enable title action save like this and I will create some mask so take a rectangle tool and create like this in beginning then create like this after that I am going to pen tool push somewhere here then push here and hold left mouse, drag and drop, and push somewhere here. Then close, mouse, drag, sorry, drag and drop, maybe somewhere like this, here, and make like this. Ok, this is just beginning for my texture, same we will do from other side. Later I will show you what we will do finally with this. Okay. Okay, my mistake. Mm -hmm. Maybe somewhere here. Here. And like this, close. Okay, we have like this mask. So now we are going to each mask and we will do some additional settings. We will start from from this mask. I select here, going more and change maybe middle of this cross, maybe just like this. So select from this area, going closer and also middle of the cross. Uh, I mean cross this line, yes? Very good. Going here and pick up a little bit maybe somewhere here very nice just to make it more beautiful somewhere here very good so and now we will work with these lines i take this line put somewhere like this then i take this line put a little bit closer okay as you can see i already have something going here make it like this as you can see here is sync here coming not sync so I take this line 
and little bit pick up just little bit pick up here and put down here okay very good this is preparation for texturing of basketball we will do later this like a mask for my uh, ball we will do mask for displacement mm -hmm. I hope this is the same distance, yes looks like the same very good and remaining little bit, just we almost finish it uh, what happened? I think I I changed position of my layer just go to transform position and yes I think I will change ok now is better my mistake yeah almost finish just few ways remaining okay and now I will check also here I think just take this and put little bit down yeah you see to make it almost same just about same size okay uh, when it's done when it's done you have to select all mask all for your mask one two three four uh, going to settings of this mask and increase phaser uh, I don't know how much we will increase I think I will put approximately 20 what I have I have like this very nice like a small blur so when everything completed I am select this composition going to composition uh, make it render quote and I will use I don't know maybe I will use target sequence target sequence will be like this and format options yeah sorry I forget to make something first of all hold alt on my keyboard and put two times to make it 32 bits to make it very good quality between white and black okay uh, again this we already no need one more time composition render quote I will use targa format will be 32 bits okay and save I don't know on the desktop I will call it basket ball like this save and render very nice going back to my cinema 4d okay uh, double click to my material open IPR yeah maybe I'm little bit increase maybe I will put like this open my material and apply to my sphere redshift tag mesh enable tessellation and enable displacement because we will use displacement like I told you before okay uh, how we will do a good texture for my ball first of all I will use material blender because I will use many different materials like this then my main material will be like a base color okay I apply this material to ball this just beginning uh, then I'm going to texture take texture mm, yeah and in general I am apply texture from my desktop where is my basket mm, sorry this is already rendered mm. I cannot see it composition number one basketball this yeah okay apply as you can see I have this my texture I'll use this texture okay if I apply just here you can see like this 
if I will render it, what you will see, you will see like this. First of all, I need change a settings of this texture. I am going to texture and make it projection flat, like this. What I have? I have very interesting composition. So change length of this texture, maybe 20% and 20%. You see, my basketball almost ready. Very good. What we will do? I am set up redshift light just to receive very good result. I will use dom light with some HDR map. I no need this dom light on my background, only like this. Okay, very nice. So uh, this texture I will apply to two, 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 two displacement map like this texture put to displacement map and displacement map to my material surface displacement what i have i have like this look at this look at very nice inside in displacement i no need it it's you see it's very big displacement so i will in decrease in twice maybe 0 0.5 Oh, yeah, maybe like this. Looks like very nice. Uh, as you remember, we are made for my sphere too much segments to receive a good result. Yes, if will be less segments, I don't know, maybe 10 only segments. I haven't nothing. It will be it, it, it not working. So I will increase in 100. If you like, you can make more segments to receive very good result. But I think for ball, this is enough. OK, uh, now we will work with my my main texture. So, uh, as you know, basketball have some very interesting dot, dot surface. For this, I will use a Redshift shader. I mean, Cinema 4D shader from Redshift. Going here, going to shader, and I will use surface tiles. What I have, I am apply these shaders to the Redshift texture because shaders not working b without Redshift textures. Redshift textures I will apply to bump and bump I will apply to my Redshift material main like overall bump input like this. What I have? I have like this. Very nice. Uh, I think for my bump I also will use maybe 0 0.1 just for beginning. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe more just for beginning maybe more then we will adjust it okay inside in cinema 4d shaders i have tiles just left mouse and all my settings is here okay first of all i like to make this only with two colors black and white so ground color will be black and all other color will be white like this and like this so I will have very good result. Uh, bevel white I will decrease up to five, like this. And what I will use, as you can see, you have pattern in some of my video, uh, in some of my tutorial. I already use it hexagon, some sometimes bricks. You can check all my previous video. But today I will use a circle tree. What I have like these circles. And look at this, very very nice. Uh, okay. Also, I will reduce a scale. Maybe it will be only five, only a little bit, only a little bit. And as you can see, I cannot find any good result because resolution of my shaders is very small, only 128. So inside I will increase up to 400 what I have, maybe will be better. Yeah, little bit better, but anyway, not so good. I will make 2000 and 2000 okay maybe 4000 and 4000 and i will use a 32 bits channel okay maybe 16 maybe 16 will be enough what i have look at this texture if i increase little bit yeah it's coming it's coming to stack this is normal just Okay, I am increased little bit again. IPR, play, and look at this. Very nice, but I think it's too much. Uh, too much. 
bump so i am going to bump and i reduce this bump maybe 0.1 only i don't need this too much because it's like a for street ball very sharps i like to make for sport room okay you see you see very interesting color what what i will do now first of all uh, this material will change a color for this material as you can see i have diffuse color for diffuse color i will use i don't know standard texture and i will take for my from my library where is my library i will take a skin uh, where is my skin somewhere here okay maybe i will use this skin okay like this uh, i apply the skin to color correct yeah i think i will put a stop for a moment because because very big texture and my computer can stack i don't like to stack it come on yeah texture somewhere here okay i will reduce scale maybe i will use for a moment only 500 and 500 just to give me way before final render yes just to fast work so apply this texture to my surface and check the color what i have play and check like this so i inside in my color correct i will increase maybe a little bit contrast maybe 0 0.8 to make it more dark and i will reduce a uh, level so i don't know just a little bit to make it more dark yeah maybe 0 0.7 will be good okay like this uh then i am applied to my material like a base color okay very good this i no need what i have I already have like this looks like very nice and don't forget yes my shader is now only 500 so i haven't now final result but it will be very fast for render and i don't like too much uh, specular so i am going to redshift material and increase my reflection roughness to i don't know maybe 0. Point, maybe 0. 0.5 yeah yeah now it looks like more natural what i will do now just a little bit going back okay very nice i like to apply other material to these lines how to do it for this we are using my redshift blender material so i take one more material standard material and this material will be without color black color and will be i don't know maybe 0 0.3 0 0.3 specular this will be black color i will apply it like a layer color number one okay and mask for this color will be this texture just take it apply here and blend color what i have i have like this and it's working not correct as you can see inside i have just standard skin basketball skin and outside i have this matte black so what i have to do i have to invert this texture this is very easy go go to colors take a color invert node put somewhere here apply first in this place and then to this place and what i have ta -da! finally look at this very nice and now it looks like very interesting basketball so uh don't forget because before end before uh, final render to increase the settings up to maximum yes maximum i don't know maybe 400 4, 000, maybe 5000 but in present moment we are finished with texturing of my basketball so what we will do now uh put like this and create a floor this is will be just standard plane i will use uh, 1000 for 1000 uh, one segments only i no need more take redshift material uh, going inside take texture uh, i'm going again to my texture library i will use uh, i will use something from this area so check 
as you remember may maybe 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 i will use like this okay apply push here sorry like this diffuse color and for this color i will use 0 0.1 okay like this just receive little bit specular i don't use any i don't know any bump or roadness for this I is this enough so apply here going to ipr and what i have yeah maybe a little bit put up and little bit put like this just to to check final result okay i have ball and i will play with this texture first of all this will be like a cubic yes like this and i will reduce this will be maybe 25 this will be maybe 50 check it looks like natural yes i like it and and i'll keep like this okay what we will do now we'll set up our camera first of all i am going to output render resolution will be 576 up to 1280 and will be also 25 frames per second my full composition will be 225 seconds this is nine seconds or oh, i'm sorry uh, frames this is nine seconds okay uh, what we will do now i am take a text mograph mograph text first of all reduce size maybe 20 centimeters only okay like this and put basket ball or you can put everything what you like yeah i have text uh this will be like this bold and maybe just minus one okay now it's good just apply somewhere here text and what we will do now we are set up my camera push somewhere to the middle take a camera and this will be final frame camera settings and this will be final frame okay for camera i'm also set up a redshift camera tag and i will use a bokeh and i will use explosion with vignette 10. what i will do focus distance will be to the ball and i think i put little bit text to forward just little bit maybe like this okay and again play with camera yeah very good okay render and check what i have check yeah i have already some bucket but quality is not so good because i have only four uh four segments for rendering uh okay i like to apply some animation for my text this will be later before i will use animation for my sphere so uh as you can see now is position zero yeah this will be 500 okay zero if i turn here my ball is not turning not rotated yes uh, of course you can apply some uh simulation tag rigid body then make some simulation it will turn okay if you like you can do it but i find more easily way i am apply expresso tag okay what i will do here first of all i am take uh, my sphere from my sphere i have to like uh, two ways this is in this is out okay out will be out will be will be will be coordinates global position and x why x because look at this if i change position of my ball changing this x yeah like this x very good and i like to rotate on the uh, z i think will be z this is b just we will check i'm going to sphere and change check yeah you see it is working yes this is rotation b so i am going to tag take again sphere somewhere here and for in i will use a uh, coordinates global rotation b like this so i have two nodes and i like to connect these nodes 
if change my x, it will apply to my rotation B. For this, I will add right click, new node, expresso, I think this is will be calculation and range mapper. You have in and you have out. So in make like this, out make like this. And what I have, look at this. If I start, you see automatically moving, automatically without any problem, but it's moving very fast. So I am play, I am uh, select this range mapper and what I have, I have some small settings. First of all, uh, input will be defined and output will be degree like this. Uh, what I will do now, first of all, I have to check my uh, lower and upper limit. So look, now I, this is zero, yes, zero X. When I put somewhere here, this will be 140. 140. So I am going again change back to mapper and make it. Input upper will be 140. So during this time, you see, yeah, ball is moving. Ball is moving and looks like very, very natural. That's all. Very simple. Very simple to make an animation for this. Okay. Uh, I'm keep like this. And what I'll do on the frame number 20 or maybe 10 frame number 10. My ball will be somewhere here. I cannot see my ball. It will be 145. It doesn't matter for this. This is will be like a frame number zero. Then to frame number 180 my ball going to zero position. Okay, check this animation. You see, very nice. Very nice. And what I will do now, I'm going to start up animate and spherical position animation. You see, I have like this. So in beginning, this is last point, this is first point. I take first point and in beginning my ball have a very fast rotation and then slowly, slowly going to down like this. Check it again. Now it's fast and then slowly, 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 slowly and then stop. Very nice. Okay, maybe maybe yeah we will keep like this so render and check what i have looks like very nice looks like very very natural okay what i will do now uh, i will animate my text so going to last frame and apply to my text a voronoi fracture like this and my text now going to many many segments so increase quantity of these segments going to source uh, select my source and increase I don't know maybe 1000 just like this too much segments do not do not make more because computer can to stack and we absolutely no need it uh, then I'm apply a factor plane for plane I will use a box fallout box and for parameters we are going to parameters first of all I will use a zero maybe i will use for a moment only scale just minus one to find some result so uh we'll take like this and for fallout i will use invert so when my box going out i will receive a text yeah maybe like this okay I have a text. Maybe I will reduce little bit. 25 will be only. Okay, very nice. And additionally, what I will use for parameters, I like to receive these dots from with rotation. As you can see, when I will move, first it will rotate and from somewhere, no. Yeah, 
maybe somewhere here M minus 20 okay what i have it will be like this oh, 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 very good very good very good like this okay and what i will do for this plane i will apply also my espresso tool okay how to do it first of all look at this minus will be minus 80 final final will be minus 80 and just just to remember it minus 80 and here will be 45 45 and minus 80 okay how to apply it we are going again to expresso we are take my plane and inside is the plane i will take also for inside coordinates global position x like this then i will take one more node range mapper like this so sphere position apply here and global position apply here as you remember uh, my sphere coming okay uh, this will be zero for my sphere and here will be how much for my sphere 145 so i will use same situation here it will be 145 up to zero and output output like i told you before will be as you remember i'm already not remember final will be minus 80 and here will be i think 40 yes as i remember okay check again if my sphere coming i have animation of my text you see it's not necessary to animate yeah i don't like this situation so maybe i will little bit change will be minus 70 and 50 just little bit back again i don't like this area so i will render and check if it, i have something or not yeah i have something so i will reduce it and how to do it just going to plane fallout and to reduce this maybe maybe only 15 okay like this Mm -hmm. and it's not coming anymore so i make disconnection for a moment and now i'm again play with this so make 25 final will be here this is will be final minus 82 minus 82 and first yeah maybe i no need I will use maybe only 10 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay and in beginning will be 40 again going to espresso will be 85 will be 40 connect and check what i have i hope now you're you're understood what i am doing yes i make connection between animation of my sphere and with my plane tool so check again mm -hmm. okay maybe maybe i will adjust little bit if i will do like this what i have okay almost ready final will be minus 70 maybe 75 
Very nice. And again. Yeah, now it's working. Now it's working. You see, maybe I will make a ninety for beginning, just to receive more fast animation in beginning. Again, check. Okay, I like it. Very nice. So, uh, for this Voronoi, I also apply Delay Tool. In Delay Tool, what I will do? I will go into Effector, make a Spring, and make it maybe 75% only. Uh, check again my animation. Okay, you see what I have. I have very interesting result. And finally, Camera Animation. Camera animation. Take my camera, going to frame number zero, and increase. Yeah, first of all, we are going to this frame 180, and I will use like this and like this. Then going to last keyframe and make it back. Maybe a little bit down, maybe a little bit like this. Okay. Then going to first frame. Increase. Going to this side. This will be first game frame. What I have? My ball start coming. So somewhere here. I am follow to my ball. And what I have will be like this. Ball is coming, coming letters, and then I going back with my camera. And I have final result. Very good. So, and also I will animate my bokeh. Just to receive all time focus. So, going to camera, object, focus distance, on the frame number 10. Yeah, maybe frame number 20 will be here just set up focus if i render what i have i have like this picture looks like very nice then frame number 80 my focus will be here again then frame number 180 my focus will be here and last game frame my focus will be on the text Okay, very good. This is done. And before final, before final render, I will apply for my text also this texture. So I take this texture, go and make a copy of this texture, and I no need, I no need black lines, I no need any displacement, I no need any blender material. Uh, I will use only standard material for surface like this and change 400 yeah and going here here also don't forget to change for uh, not 400 sorry 4000 like this very nice and very nice so apply this material to my Voronoi fracture here and make it cubic so uh, I will do a render now I'm going somewhere here We'll do a fast render to check how is my material applied. Like this and big size. So I, I reduce maybe in twice. Maybe like this. 500 and 500. Yeah, now it's good. Now I have these dots like on my ball and looks like very nice. And finally, going to render settings. Make it all frames. Going to save. Use a PNG file, you can use everything what you like, save somewhere on the desktop, redshift and increase a very good, I don't know, 1 to 8 maybe, 1 to 8, just I show you one frames how it looks like, so I'm going somewhere here, 
it's over here to make a render you will see a bokeh how it it it, wi it will be very nice and i don't know maybe 15 seconds it will take maybe 20 seconds one frame but this is normal normal for this quality look at this look at this texture i have text which is coming from my ball and i don't know i like it it looks like very very natural looks like very natural okay uh very good when you set up everything and you render it finish it going to adobe after effect apply all my basketball sequence here and make new composition composition will be only eight yeah i have it so uh additionally i will use a uh, sound from some sport room this is basketball horn and whistle just download from internet it doesn't matter and what i will do additionally new adjustment layer for adjustment layer i will use some color correction first i will receive my ball i will use some color correction from magic bullet looks i don't know what we will use from maybe some yeah maybe like this yes front edge why not i'll use it and then i will apply one more solid it will be black color in beginning i will use opacity opacity will be 100 keyframe then i am going i don't know maybe maybe 20 frames forward reduce then going somewhere here game frame and again increase okay and finally what i have i'm increase i no need this going somewhere here very nice so if you like this tutorial please subscribe share to your friends put like and check all my other tutorials uh, goodbye friends and see you next time